Welcome to Sage Audio. Today we're covering how to mix bus process. To get the most from your music, watch the entirety of each chapter for a complete understanding of the topic. How to EQ your mix bus. Before we start covering processing your mix bus, I want to make it clear that the chapters I'm covering in this video are in no particular order. They're not part of a chain, but just valuable info to help you make more informed decisions when mixing. If we EQ our mix bus, we have the power to drastically alter the sound of our mix. With that in mind, amplify or attenuate no more than 3 dB. Personally, I enjoy the sound of boosting the high frequencies with a shelf by about 1 to 2 dB. Another idea is to use a mid-side EQ and use a high-pass filter on the lows to make the low frequencies more mono. I personally enjoy a 6 dB per octave slope for this cut and will lower the center frequency so that the cut just slightly affects the low mids. Let's take a listen to an EQ on a mix bus. Compressing a mix bus. Like equalization, compression can do a lot of damage if used excessively on the mix bus, so be sure to attenuate your signal no more than 1 to 2 dB. If you just want to control your peaks, set an attack of 10 milliseconds and release of 50 milliseconds to retain detail. If you want a more cohesive sound, or what's often called mixed glue, use a longer release time of about 150 to 250 milliseconds. Also, if it's available, use a bus or mastering algorithm, a little bit of look ahead, and some oversampling, all of which will reduce distortion in different ways. Let's take a listen. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. How to saturate a mix bus. With a saturator, we can subtly compress our mix and add harmonics. The compression will typically be soft knee and a little slower, so it's gonna glue the sound together a bit. The harmonics will make the mix sound louder and fuller and can vary depending on what emulation you choose. Tube and transformer emulation often results in a warmer sound due to the second order harmonics, whereas tape affects the mid and high mids a bit more. Again, use this effect subtly. Also, if it's available, I'd recommend using at least 2x over sampling. Let's take a listen. Is crosstalk a good idea? Crosstalk occurs when your left and right channels bleed into one another, causing some of the right channel's info to be on the left and vice versa. This results in a somewhat blended sound, but can also widen the stereo image. You can use this effect subtly. That said, don't conflate or confuse this effect with delay-based stereo imaging, which delays one of your channels to cause expansion. In my opinion, delay-based stereo imagers should never be used on a mix bus. Let's take a listen to how crosstalk affects the mix. If you're enjoying the video, consider hitting the like button. It really helps us bring you more videos. Preamp on the mix bus. If you want your mix to have a vintage sound, try preamp emulation. Although these are marketed as going on individual channels, the hardware they emulate was often used for mastering back in the 60s and 70s. They'll mildly distort and shape the frequency of your mix. I like Arturia's emulation of the V76 for this, but if you've found another one that you enjoy, let me know about it in the comments section. Let's take a listen to this preamp.
can I add reverb to a mix bus? In short, yes, you can add reverb to your mix bus. However, the effect should be incredibly subtle, about 1-2% to mixed in. Otherwise, your mix is going to sound washed out. I like to emulate a studio when I'm doing this since it adds cohesion in a way that makes sense. More times than not, I'll avoid adding this effect to my mix bus, but some engineers enjoy adding it in. Let's take a listen to it. Only a small percentage of people that watch our videos are subscribed, so if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Meta plugin on the mix bus. If you plan on processing your mix bus with effects that don't offer oversampling, I'd recommend trying Meta plugin, which lets you house all of your effects within the plugin and create your signal chain accordingly. Up top, we notice that we can introduce oversampling to the entire chain. I'd recommend this if you're using a saturation plugin that doesn't include oversampling, since this is going to be the main cause of unwanted aliasing distortion in most cases. Let's take a listen. If you'd like our custom plugin presets, audio samples, loops, download sheets, a members only badge next to your name in comments, and more, consider joining with the link in the description. Subtle Golfos. If I could only add one processor to my mix bus, I'd choose the master version of the Golfos EQ, an intelligent EQ that shapes the signal based on predetermined ideal levels for maximum perceivability. Subtle settings like 10% on Recover and Tame can really help a struggling mix. Since the effect can't be replicated manually, I don't feel too guilty using it on a difficult mix. Let's take a listen to it. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.